so go over it again. One night, on the way home from netball practice, I realised someone was following me. A strange man. And he attacked you? Yeah. And you ended up in the swimming pool? Well, yeah. He ran away. He stole my phone. And that's where you tied him up? Yeah, you know, citizen's arrest. You're so stupid. You could have got yourself killed. Why didn't you call me straight away? I know. I didn't think it through. You're such a waster. You should have told me, Donna. What is it? I haven't been entirely truthful with you. What do you mean? He didn't steal my phone. I broke into the pool to spy on him. You broke in? And that's when he attacked you? I made that up too. When he saw that I was watching him, he chased after me. I was scared, so I hit him over the head. I tied him up because I didn't want him going to the police. But that was probably a mistake. Jesus Christ, Donna, that's kidnap. That's a serious criminal offence. It was self-defence. I thought he was an alien. This is getting ridiculous. Stay here. I need to see what you've done. I'll come with you. He only speaks to me. How am I going to explain this to the Sarge? What? I only told you so you could help me, not make things worse. I'm a police constable. I can't just cover this up like in some movie. What did you think I was going to do? OK, fine. Call it in. Lock me up if that will make you happy. Wait here. What are you doing? Get off of me! Just shut the hell up and stay here. Come back, Emma, please! Give me your hands. I need my handcuffs back. Okay. Stay still. Emma, talk to me. Do you not get it? Mum's dying. And we're out here playing one of your games. I'm not sure what's happening to me. I think I need to see someone. The problem is, Donna, I don't think I can believe anything you say. Don't say that. I'm really sorry. I'm going to be at the hospital. Join me if you want. I don't care anymore. he's back again. What's happened, Donna? What do you want? To 
be your friend. Friends don't keep friends hostage. I don't know if I've got any friends left. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Something feels weird. Empty. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can't stay here anymore. This has run its course. You're free to go. This is about your mother. Yes. She's dying. In fact, she's almost gone. Yeah, and that's why I'm done with this. Goodbye. If you want my help, you only have to ask. You're not a doctor. What could she possibly do? What do you have to lose? Ask me. Previously on Last Stop. So, what happens now? I guess we figure out how to fix this. Why don't you just go to the doctor? Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. I'm gonna have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. How's your heart, John? My heart? I had a mild heart attack a few months back. What's this? I'm cleaned out. How am I gonna pay for this place without any cash? One of us needs to get a job. Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Well, um, I'll give it my best shot. Remember, it doesn't matter that my CV says you've got no experience. It's not about that at this stage. As long as they like you, you'll be fine. you got this. Trust me, I have interviewed a hundred people before. Don't forget to tuck your shirt in. Own the room. Be the pack alpha. <clears throat> Chew on a mint so your breath isn't gross. All right. I can do this. Get in there. Bring home the baker. CVs? Pointless. I don't think you can judge a man's character from a piece of paper, you agree? It's all about the one-on-one, -on -one. man on man. Sure. I'll let you in on a secret. This job, easy. A monkey could do it. I'm after an individual, someone that could fill my shoes in years to come. Oh, good. Because I'm not looking for a stressful life. You know, the problem with the public sector is that it's full of grey, dead weight. A board to me eyeballs, mate. A bunch of corpses everywhere. You're looking for someone more like you? Yes, exactly. You a football man, Jackie boy? Of course you are. Come on, who are you? L Liverpool? Top lad. Well, you'll never walk alone around here, mate. Although, don't expect to get much action around here. <laughs> we are lacking some serious talent. But you know what they say, don't shit on your own doorstep. Yeah. And don't piss into the wind. I've got a bunch of other applicants to see today, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel them. When can you start? Get in! Hey, Dad! How's the interview? Thank you. 
Thankfully, Clive's prejudice fell into my favour. I start tomorrow. Woo woo! Pizza on Dad! Who's up for some celebratory takeaway? I think I'll have an early night. Congrats, etc. What's up with Jack? Who knows? Are you in the mood for spicy beef? Or barbecue chicken? Chicken! Yes, I'm late. Jack's still asleep in the living room, so I couldn't watch TV this morning. When I went in there, he was snoring, just like you used to. You know, really loudly. I guess the snoring must have saved an old body. I wonder what else Jack has that used to be yours. Maybe he has your handwriting. Do you remember when Mrs. Adelecki didn't believe that you signed my homework diary because she didn't think that that was written by an adult? It's going to be funny the next time we have parents' evening. Maybe I can say I have two dads. If Jack is going to sleep in the living room forever, maybe you should get one of those pull-out sofa beds. Actually, Jack can have my room. I'll sleep in the sofa bed. That way I can watch TV all the time. Forgot something? Phone. I'm ringing it now. Okay. Easy does it. What's she doing? Morning. I just needed my phone. <sighs> Brace ya. Dad! Too slow. I know about your predicament. Come see me, the Vape Lord. <laughs> 